All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another live binary uh, session. Um, so I'm going to actually do a binary session on Euro USD over the counter, and uh, we are going to be actually trading using supply demand market structure and some moving averages. So <clears throat> what I do is when I trade a uh, binary, I like to mark up uh, my market structure um, on the uh, two minute time frame, and then I like to execute my trades or my sniper entries on the one minute time frame. So we are on the one hour time frame now. I mean, uh, one minute, uh, two minute time frame now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mark up my supply and demand zone, and then we're going to use horizontal lines on the um, uh, the uh, one minute time frame to mark up further supply and demand zones and figure out a market structure. So I could see up here that this is actually the highest point where price was at previously. So this is gonna be our top supply zone here, All right? And I'm gonna make this uh, red, all right? And then we're going to put one all the way at the bottom. So basically, we're creating our floor and our roof. All right. So I'm putting that down here. And of course, we're going to make this green. All right. Now, <clears throat> we're going to move on to the one hour time frame. And now we're going to actually mark up our supply demand zones using the horizontal lines. So at this point, we see that this is our demand zone we drew. So let me grab a horizontal line. So we see here that price did um, some aggressive buying here and then went all the way up to his demand zone and then did aggressive selling all the way down to here. So we can put a horizontal line right up in this area here. And then price did aggressive sell, uh, buying up to this point and then sold here. So we have a supply zone up here. So we'll put that up to here. And so we can see that price is really interacting with these supply and demand zones. Price tested this area again and aggressively sold down to here and then broke and sold down to here. So now when we look in this area, we take another horizontal line and we can see that there's multiple times when price respected this as a demand zone and aggressively bought all the way up to here, then aggressively sold down to here, then aggressively bought and broke structure and went up to this next structure up here, okay? Same thing with here. Now, when we analyze this next one, price aggressively sold, um, really down to this point here because then price decided to aggressively sell, I mean, buy a little bit aggressively here and then that's when price shifted and went down to this structure again and then broke and retested and went all the way down to this ultimate demand zone, all right? So when we look at price here, we can see that price is breaking this last zone and is pushing down. So here, I can see that price respected uh, this area here as a demand zone and price just broke it. So then we have another one here as well. So now that I see that price actually broke this area, price might, uh, price, when we look at current price here, price is selling aggressively. So it looks like it's pushing down to this next zone here. So what I'm looking for now is I'm looking for price to actually either come down to this zone, retest this as demand and then buy back up. And that's what I'm kind of looking at. Um, or if it crosses this, line here and close below goes down to this demand zone then i'm gonna sell it um when i look at the vortex is really really selling 
but it's pushing towards the top, so it might reverse up, and it looks like it's buying up now. So it looks like it might, because this was a huge aggressive selling here. So this was a, so it might buy up a little bit. Um, I might push this up to here. Yeah. And I'm gonna see if it buys up to this next zone here. Now, let me turn on my moving averages. All right. So the yellow is pointing out. So that just shows that price was selling very hard. Let's see if it buys up a little bit more. It might have been too quick. Nope. Made that one. So now it looks like it's closing above. No, 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 no. It's retesting this zone here. So it might drop back down to here. Or it might buy up to here. No, it closed above. So it might actually buy back, buy above to this zone here. It might actually erase the supply zone. I probably don't need it. Yeah. So I'm going to see if it goes back up to here. Or if it's going to now, actually, we have a supply zone here. Let me do this. Yeah, right up to here because price respected it before went up to here, went up to here. So price is probably respecting this supply zone here, and it's probably going to sell and push down further. Um. So let's see. Now, if it blows past, then I'm, uh, you know. See if it closes above this. If it does, then I'll probably buy it up, maybe. Let me pause this recording real quick. Whoops, did not mean to do that. So I see huge wick rejection at this supply zone, so it's probably going to sell down possibly um it's a possibility it might sell down a bit it's really respecting this supply zone Like it's pushing up. Yeah, see, it's rejecting that area. That's what it looks like. But it might be pushing up. Might move this up to here. Yeah. So it looks like it's pushing up. So I'm going to put it in for put. Might it. There we go. Made another one. Nice one. See how it closed up above this. So now it's, this is considered demand zone now. So it closed above that. Now it might be hitting. Yeah, see, it's pushing down a little bit. But it might be retesting this area and pushing back up. Because there was aggressive selling here and it turned to aggressive buying. But it might be respecting the structure up here. But if not, then it'll probably come up here, respect the structure, and it probably come down again. That's why I'm thinking price is overall bearish. Let me put my trend line here. That's what I'm thinking it is. Uh, let me pause this recording. No, it looks like it's selling. Let me go for it. Yeah, should have waited. That's okay. It's really respecting the series. It's probably going to buy up and go to. Oh, well, it closed below. So that might be a clear sign of bearish. So like it was pushing. Yeah, did it too quickly. I got to stop. So what I need to do is. Let's wait until the next candle close below here and then sell again. So let me wait for the next candle and see what it's going to do. So we got about 31 seconds. Be right back. So yeah, it looks like price might be going bearish. It's really closing below this next zone here. Um,
It's really going back and forth. But let me pause. So I put in a cell. Got it. They gave it to me. Um, see if I can get this one as well. Got it. Boom. So now when I'm looking, I'm looking for price to actually hit this same area here and then possibly push back up. There was a little bit of aggressive selling here. Um, so let's see. So it looks like it's buying up. So I'll probably put a So it, it actually, I'm thinking it might actually, it could come up to here and then go back down to here and then come back up or it could come up to here, break this and go back up to here. So, because I see a big wick rejection here. So then it might go back down to this zone here. So, pause. All right, so price is buying up to this zone. They gave it to us, another one. But now it's probably going to test this area and then probably shift down and go down or it's going to break above here and go up to the next zone. So let's wait for the next candle. Whoops. Why I keep doing that? Oh, they gave it to me. Wow. Cool. Uh, let me pause. So this candle closed above here. Um, so um, it's retesting this area. So it's going to buy up to this next zone here. That's what we have here. We have a supply zone here. Feels like it's kind of buying up now. See if this one, we'll see if we get this one. A little mm -hmm. too quick, kind of wait. Some, some told me there was a supply zone here, so the possibility was going to so look as look like a selling. Let me go in and see if I can. Eh, probably might did it too quick. Ah. Only lost two, that's fine. Okay, so it was rejecting this area. That's my fault. Uh, but it might still be rejecting. Uh, I think it might be rejecting this area. No, it's definitely bullish. Try this one. Got it. So let's see, we, we've done a uh, Euro USD over the counter. So we've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven wins. And one, two, three, four, five, five losses. So we got to do better, but it's all good. So Looks like it's going <clears> to, <throat> I believe it's going to reject this area and then shift and sell down to here. That's what I'm looking for. So let me pause this report. Well, we, the next candle close three, two, one. Let's see if it either closes above and goes up to here or rejects this supply zone and drops down to here. Now, they do have this imbalance here to fill too. So we got to keep that in mind. So let me pause until we figure out where price is going. Decided to sell it down and they did not give it to me. Why not? I don't know. Checked in this area though. So we might still be bullish.
looks like the next candle's closing down. No, it looks like it's respecting it because of this wick. So we might be bullish right now. There was a supply zone here, but I think the candle closed above that. So we might be bullish. But then there's a wick there. They're killing me. I think we're going bearish. There we go. So I'm doing decently on this, but I could be better. Yeah, banker's candle. Give it to me. Another one. There we go. Uh, Griff is aggressive selling, so I might come down and maybe respect this supply zone, maybe. Now. Yeah, we got a wick here. Uh, keep on accidentally hitting this button, but at least they gave it to me. Mm. Boom, another one. Win. This might be selling ball here. Let's see if I get this one too. Yep, got it. Mm. Boom. Okay, I see a wick here. So, big wick here, so price might be going bullish now. That's what I'm kind of seeing, but. Yeah, my, I think it's testing. Yeah, it's testing the uh, a demand zone up here. Looking at the wicks. So I'm going to move this up. And then maybe move this up to here. Maybe up to here. Maybe, but <clears throat> then again, price could be, let's see. Eh, it's still a supply zone up here. So price could still be selling. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't do it right. So I lost that one. <clears throat> Wrong timing. Uh, messed up on that one too. And we might begin to sell on this one. Got it. So yeah, we're bearish. No question. We are bearish. See if I can get this one as well. Almost got it. See. Put another one in. Mm -hmm. Got one. Cool. So we got some decent wins in. Um, some losses, of course, but 
Uh, looks like it's really dropping, so I'm gonna put a double in. See if I can get this. I probably won't. Yeah, too quick. One of those two. Boom. So I'm doing decent. Got to work on it. I'll do a couple. Well, I'll do a couple more. Then we'll be done. It's a demand zone here. So I'm seeing a reject up here. Unless it's closing below here. So I'm going to raise this because I'm looking for price to really come all the way down to here. Yeah, might did that too quick. Nope, gave it to me. Boom. Let's try one more. See if we can get one more win. Then we'll wrap it up. Uh, almost got that. Yeah, I need to get a little bit more patient. Let me stop. It's a wick there. Got that one. Since it keeps on fluctuating, I can do that just to get my wins back and cover those losses. Okay, cool. Looks like it might be closing below and selling some more. Look at that drop. Got him. I was going to retrace a little bit more, but it didn't. So I'll take that loss. See if I get this one. Yeah. It's all good. I'm just playing around for now, but we did decently on this uh, session. So then we're doing on a demo account. If I was doing a live, I would have did one. I, I want to I want to only um, did one trade live, made my two hundred and seventy eight dollars. I've been done with two hundred and seventy <laughs> and just would have been done because I don't like to gamble too much of my live money. So we might be hitting a it might be hitting a demand zone here, and it might be ready to go back up. See a wick there. Okay, broke even. That's fine. All right, guys, that's it for this binary session. See you in the next one. Take care.